Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Padovich here with an update on the forecast today. We had some big time overnight storms. You can see the current temperatures are in the upper 60s and low 70s, but I want to show you the dew points. Dew points are in the mid to upper 60s, so super muggy out there. Once we lose these clouds, we're going to see temperatures get really toasty today. Main severe weather risk is going to stay to our northwest up in the Ohio Valley. But we're going to keep an eye on the risk for a couple isolated storms. I honestly think most of today will end up being dry. Let's get right to the severe weather outlook. So that risk for severe weather today, pretty low in our area. You could see we're in that low risk area, but I wouldn't be shocked to see one or two try to develop, but it'll be really isolated. As we go through time, we'll kind of go all the way into tomorrow. You could see tomorrow kind of an interesting setup. We've got the low areas from charlotte east but back to the west we've got this high medium risk and i actually think this is going to be a setup where overnight wednesday night into thursday morning we're going to see waves of strong storms coming in from the northwest and this could be one of those nighttime setups wednesday night into early thursday and i'm going to show you thursday's outlook here we'll go forward here and you can see we're in the low to medium but i think this is mainly because the morning hours we're going to have that wave of storms moving through so the threat for severe weather is mainly going to be Thursday morning for the Western Carolinas. Now, in the afternoon, I could see this becoming more of an issue for the uh, eastern part of the state. But for the Charlotte area and west, it's really going to be a morning setup. And let's look at the future cast. So we'll dive right into the future cast here. And the future cast is going to tell you everything you need to know about today. So you can see by noon, I expect most of the clouds to give way to sunshine. It's going to be hot and humid. So if you're going to be out at quail or doing anything outside today, we could be pushing 90 degrees. And it's going to feel even hotter than that. I'm going to pause this a couple times because by evening, don't see a whole lot developing here. Maybe a few isolated storms through the evening hours. You can see a couple trying to develop here. But all in all, the atmosphere is going to be somewhat capped today. And what that means is even though the surface is going to be hot and humid and it'll be cool off, there's going to be a warm layer that's going to act like a cork, kind of like on a, on a bottle or a soda can that has a lid still or a lid on it or a cap. And even though there's volatile, uh, you know, storminess potential in there, if you can't release that cap over the cork, you're going to keep it all bottled up. And I think that's what's going to happen most of today um, as we go into the evening. Now, early Wednesday morning, we could see another round of these overnight and morning storms. And that's basically because what's happening up to our northwest. Think about all the storms that will be ongoing today and early this evening in the Midwest. That cluster of storms will try to make a run at us during the overnight hours. And you can see this could try to move in early Wednesday morning before it kind of falls apart. So don't be surprised if we wake up to storms on Wednesday morning. But then we go through the day Wednesday, it could be relatively dry again because the morning storms, what they do is they kind of stabilize things. And if things don't heat up and get going again, you could keep things pretty stable. Now, by Wednesday evening, the atmosphere is going to be much more vol volatile than even today. But once again, that capping inversion is going to be in place to keep things under wraps. But I will caution you, if we can get a storm to develop on Wednesday, it will certainly be severe um, because of the setup. And you can see there's a couple of storms trying to be uh, initiated on our future cast. So I'm not writing off the fact that there could be some strong storms on Wednesday evening. But what is becoming increasingly likely is that our biggest risk of storms is gonna be early on Thursday morning. So this is midnight Thursday morning. Uh, you see storms developing to our northwest. Watch what happens as we go through time. Those storms move down into the Carolinas uh, early Wednesday morning, but it's just not one wave. Look at this wave in the morning, and then it looks like another wave mid to late morning that moves through between 9. So the first round of wells, we're going to have storms in the morning, and I think the first half of the day um, could be pretty volatile out there. But the good news is it looks like once these storms kind of clear by the middle of the day, we actually could see things stabilize. And because those storms will have used up so much energy in the atmosphere, there may not be time for the atmosphere to kind of reload or get re-intensified because at the same time, there's a cold front sweeping in on Thursday. So it's a race. Do we see things get unstable again before the front or is there not enough time and the front gets in and then clears everything out, which I think is, is becoming more and more likely. So don't be shocked if Thursday afternoon ends up being like this mostly sunny and pretty nice out there um, as we go through the day. And then by Thursday evening, there's nothing. The wind starts shifting and the cooler air moves in. So right now, my biggest concern for, for severe weather is going to be Wednesday evening, Wednesday night into the early morning hours. So let's go basically 
11 p.m. Wednesday to 11 a.m. on Thursday. That 12-hour window looks to be the strongest. Let's look at a couple more parameters real quickly. So this is one of those composite and disease called this significant tornado parameter. It doesn't always mean tornadoes, but it means ingredients for severe weather and potentially tornadoes. So we'll go through today, and you can see some of those ingredients are in place, but the capping inversion keeps everything under wraps, not crazy high. We go into tonight, just regular old thunderstorms, but let's go through Wednesday afternoon. And as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, there's definitely some potential here. Look at this. This is roughly around 8 p.m., a Wednesday evening. So it says Thursday 0Z, zero but you know, the Zulu time. So this is 8 p.m. local time on Wednesday. You can see there are some ingredients there for some isolated tornadoes if we can get storms to develop. We go into the early morning hours on Thursday. Thankfully, some of this begins to wane, but that's because it's getting used up by the thunderstorms. And you can see through early Thursday morning, this is 8 a.m. Thursday morning, the worst of it starts to move out. So that's why I said it's really Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Quickly, we'll look at the tornado uh, rotational tracks, which mean rotating thunderstorms. All right, so remember what this product is. It just means rotating updrafts, which are an indication of supercells or rotating thunderstorms, which could produce large hail, damaging winds, and yes, sometimes tornadoes. Um, but this does tell you also where the strongest storms are going to be, strongest updrafts for sure. Um, you can see today into tonight, a couple isolated storms develop. That's why I think tonight you still got to keep your guard up, even though they look really isolated. Tomorrow during the day, not a lot going on. We go into the afternoon hours, just not a lot there. But watch what happens. We go into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So we got this MCS, which is just a fancy name for a thunderstorm complex. I'm trying to move in early Thursday. You can see it does have a couple of embedded areas, especially early Thursday, right there across the Charlotte area, um, some rotating updrafts. So there's going to be some strong storms early Thursday morning. So don't be surprised. And I really think this is going to be the case. Early Thursday morning is probably going to be our window for the worst weather. So this is definitely a day we want you to stay weather aware because it's a nighttime morning setup. And of course, I'll have more updates coming up today at 4, 5, 6, and 11. And we'll keep you weather aware as we go into Thursday.